This is the award-winning Ernest Angley Hour, proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ to all nations. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. As you watch today's program, reach out in faith and allow the Lord to minister to your personal needs. You can have a miracle. And here is God's man for this hour, Reverend Ernest Angley. Greetings in the name of the Lord and welcome to the Ernest Angley Hour. I'm the Reverend Chris Smockamer. I'm an associate pastor at Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral. I'll be your guest host for the program today. Friend, you will enjoy good music and singing, a wonderful sermon by Reverend Angley. Also, you'll hear testimonies of how God has moved and blessed people through this Jesus ministry. You'll watch miracles and healings take place, how people were delivered. Now we have for you the Cathedral Boys with a beautiful song, Lift Your Eyes. Listen. When you're in your deepest valley, look to God. He answers Jesus cares. Yes, Jesus cares. Don't look down any longer and stop living in despair. Lift your eyes and look toward heaven and see Jesus standing there. to Jesus he's the answer for your help in time of need lift your eyes and look toward heaven and in Jesus just So sad and lonely, but remember your work down here. Your work down here. We must win souls for Jesus before the setting sun. Lift your eyes and look toward heaven through those clouds. He'll soon come. to Jesus he's the answer for your help in time of need lift your eyes and look toward heaven and in Jesus just
Time's running out for those in sin A just reward shall be given to men When the trumpet sounds and Jesus arrives The Spirit will lead and judgment is nigh Before it's too late Friend, kneel down and pray to forgive you with godly sorrow today believing in Jesus and his divinity give your whole life to him and let his blood set you free Darkness and sin, a reprobate mind has been given to men. Given over to lust, their evil thoughts are a sign that we don't have long. We're on borrowed time, but you can get ready and be delivered, my friend. The ark door is open for those who enter in. Don't wait too long before the door is shut Ask God for forgiveness so you can go up Before it's too late Friend, kneel down and pray Ask Him to forgive you With godly sorrow today If you yielded your heart to salvation's call, start praising the Lord and give Jesus your all. Give Jesus the glory, it's a wonderful praise. That holy word glory will begin to change. Keep lifting those praises in honor of Him until the Holy Ghost speaks and He enters in. As the glories go up, He'll take over your tongue. It's no longer you, the Spirit has come before it's too late. Life to him and 
let his spirit come in. The subject for the message this evening, the secret place of God's presence. What did I read? Psalms 31, verses 19 and 20. Oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, that means love thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence. He has a secret presence. I can identify with this. Shut away in his presence so much, so much down through these many years from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in the pavilion from the strife of tongues. Secret means not known or seen by others, not meant to be known or seen. That's fathers also. The world doesn't understand the secret place of God's presence. Now, when children of God go there, they can be so separated unto God and His Spirit, the world and all it carries can fade from view. When in here, this secret place with the Lord, the world fades out of sight. The secret place of God's presence is a place that each of us can and must go, a place where no other person can know or see what's taking place. God has made this secret place for those who fear him above all. This is such a humble message. Others and want his will and guidance above their own. It's where God wants to share his secrets with those who fear him or love him. The secret of the Lord, Psalms 25, 14. The secret place of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. God does not share sacred, holy things with the world or with those who are not in interested. Why not? He doesn't cast his pearls before swine, and he told us not to do that. Matthew, seventh chapter, verse six, give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, be ho hogs, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. But he will meet you every time you come into his presence. The Father wants us to meet him there, talk to him there, worship him there, know the thousands, thousands of hours I've spent with him. From the time God saved me, I went into his presence to live, to live. Became more valuable 
to me in anything in all the world, the presence. And through others, and though, and though others cannot see what's taking place between you and the Father, they will see the results that follow because the Father will reward you openly. Reward means something given in recognition of his one service, effort, or of achievement. When we see the fruitful lives of others, it's because they have been with the Lord in secret. You can tell when people spend time with the Lord. Something, the secret place of God's presence is a wonderful place to be. God desires for each of us to come into that sweet place of sweet communion with him so he can teach us, feed us, strengthen us. It's there that you are untouched from the things of this world that surround you. Men cannot get to you when you are in that secret place of the Most High God. That place, I say again, is not known or seen by others. It's not meant to be known or seen by others. Divinity dwells in that secret place, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Those who have divinity inside of them can go there, but not to the world. He's hidden from them. He doesn't associate with the world. I'm glad. I learned so much from just living in his presence. Living in his presence. And in college, I was different. I was different. The students would be out playing ball or whatever. I wasn't with them. No, I had that secret place of the Most High. I was sent there on God's business, and I kept it going, kept it going. I lived those days and nights in His presence, and they paid off, paid off. John 14, 17. Even the spirit of tr truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But you should know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Some people won't go into that secret place to pray, fast, and seek the Lord because they want to be seen and recognized by men. They want the fellowship of the world more than they want holy fellowship with the Father. But what kind of rewards do you want? Do you want the recognition of men for what you do, or do you want God to recognize you, to reward you openly? I say again, this is such a humble message, such a humble message. And when you read it, it's so humble. I found this humility in Jesus. In Jesus. 
If you want to praise a man for your reward, you can get that by an outward show. Man can see you, praise you for what you're doing, and you satisfied with the praise of man, and that's what's most important to you. If so, that is all the reward you're going to get, just a shallow, empty praise from men. Just a shallow, empty praise from men. Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 and 6. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites. And for they love to pray standing in the synagogue, synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Verily I send you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into the closet, and when thou hast shut the door, pray to the Father, which is in secret, and the Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Now this doesn't mean what some people think, that you're not to let people hear you pray. Because in my home, you can hear people praying plenty. They'd be first in one room, uh, somebody else maybe in another, praying, pouring their heart, hearts out to God. They didn't pray for us to hear. They didn't pray for the neighbors to hear. But the neighbors would come, our place was wired in, and they'd come and be standing at the gate or somewhere along the fence listening. But we, we didn't hear about that. We didn't know about that until later. In Psalms, Psalms 34th chapter, verse 15, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. And this puts you so close into the Lord that you don't miss him being here in bodily form, that you can see him all the time. But we can see him at time, but it isn't necessary for us to see him all the time because his presence is that wonderful, that deep, that touching, the touch of him. And others may not see you in the secret place praying to the Father, but the Lord does. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. Now that's worth memorizing. Jesus addressed your motives for fasting as well as prayer. It's not all in fasting. No, some of it is in fasting. When the Lord moves on you, and the Lord, when he healed me, he told me later, you'll go on a long fast. When you come out of that fast, you'll have my power for the healing of the people. That's when the greatness of God's power came into my life. Instead of dying, I wasn't going to die after all. I was at death's door, but, and I thought I had two or three more days to live. I was in the quicksand of death. I was dying. I knew I was dying. He didn't send an angel that night. 
Jesus came, there he was telling me, letting me know I was going to live. And I was having my last revival before I received the power of his greatness and my miracle. And I wasn't telling people about it, but I knew it was coming. I knew he has let me have that last revival, and I was going to be so different after that. So the many thousands of hours spent in his presence, I don't regret any of them. Not a one. Not a one. I let people do what they want to do. We preach nothing but the truth, teach nothing but the truth. But we leave it up to you to do what you want will to do. That's up to you how much time you spend with the Lord. I think it's so great that we can just go into his presence anytime. Acts, fourth chapter, 29th verse through 31. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak the word. By stretching forth thine hand to heal and that signs, wonders may be done by the name of the Holy Child, Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and spake the word of God with boldness. And that's what us preachers do here. We speak it with boldness. To the secret place of God's presence is where you must go if you are diligently seeking Him and His will. You can't be running to man all the time if you are diligently seeking God. Hebrews 11, verse 6, For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Notice, diligently seek him. That means with all your heart. The things we do for God and not to be seen a man are the fruits of love that can only come from spending time in his presence. God will reward, reward those selfless acts of love and that were done through his love. We may not realize what all we have done for the Lord, but God does, and he will reward us openly. Matthew 25, verses 34 through 40, then shall the king say unto them on the right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was a hungered, 
and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, you visited with me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we the hungered and fed thee or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer, say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. Isn't that precious and beautiful reading? And we bless people. And we're blessing the Lord. Blessing the Lord. That's the reason you people are such a blessing. You're helping others. You're encouraging others. Just about all of our people do this. We have very few that don't, and they're not getting anywhere. If they get do anything, they do it for show. But there's very few that do that. God needs each of us to spend time in the secret place of his presence where only his truth is being brought forth, where only his re reasoning becomes ours. If you don't go to that secret place of God's presence, you will bring be a self-made, people-made person, and God won't be able to ward you openly with his approval. And so there it is. God's wings of approval are over those who dwell in the secret place of his presence. Psalms 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, the secret place of God's presence. Think about it. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. What a privilege that is. And we're not passing it by, are we? No. We're holding on to that presence. And we're, we're not interested in what the world is doing. We're interested in soul winning. We're interested in more of the, of the love of God so that we can share it with people that will count and bring them to the Lord. And if they don't have the Holy Ghost, help them to get the Holy Ghost. Because if, you, if they don't get the Holy Ghost, they'll be left when the rapture takes place. And that will be terrible. Friend, I hope you are blessed today by the sermon. But right now, I have a special announcement. Next weekend is our big July 4th camp meeting at Ernest Angeley's Grace Cathedral in Cuyahoga Falls. It will be a wonderful time in the Lord. People look forward to this great event. They make plans to be with us. They travel from other states even other nations to be there. Oh, how the power of God moves and blesses. It runs Friday through Sunday, five special services. And you will enjoy good preaching, 
wonderful music and singing by our artists at this Jesus ministry, many new songs as well. And you can receive prayer, whatever that need is in your life, soul, mind, or body. Our God is on the throne and he's willing and ready to move for you. And remember in each service over this week and all seats are free as always, be with us, you will be blessed. In speaking of a blessing, partners of this Jesus ministry, do read the letter Reverend Angelie sent to you this month, celebrating 65 years of this Jesus ministry. And do donate this month in honor of that celebration, that big anniversary. Give whatever the Lord lays upon your heart, no matter how big or small the amount. When you obey the Lord, God will bless you for it. He promised to open up the windows of heaven upon your life when you give unto God's work. So you can expect God to move for you spiritually, physically, and financially. You can donate through our website at ernestangely.org. Or you can always mail in your support. You can mail it to Ernest Angley Ministries, P.O. Box 1790. Akron, Ohio, 44309. In Canada, write to Ernest Angley Ministries, Box 970, Station U, Toronto, Ontario, M8Z5P9. And always remember, each month that you sponsor this Jesus ministry, you get a new Giant Little Book of the Month. And the June Giant Little Book is entitled Scarecrows. So when you send in your donation for June, be sure to request gift offer P356. Now we have more good music and singing coming up. Right now, it's a song entitled, Ain't Tired Yet. Ooh, I've been following the Lord a mighty long time and I ooh, ain't tired yet. I said I ain't tired yet. Oh, Lord, I ain't so tired yet. Well, I've been following the Lord a mighty long time, and I ain't tired yet. I'm living for Jesus and doing just what He said. Well, I'm trusting in the Word of God, and I ain't tired yet. Lord, I ain't tired yet. I said I ain't so tired yet Well, I'm trusting in the Word of God And I ain't tired yet I'm doing His will and everything He says mm -hmm. Now I'm praising the Lord with all my heart And I ain't tired yet Hallelujah, I ain't tired yet Praise God, I ain't so tired yet. Well, I'm praising the Lord with all my heart, and I ain't tired yet. I'm thanking and praising Him for everything He's done. Mm -hmm. Now I'm taking the gospel to the whole wide world, and I ain't tired yet. Lord, I ain't tired yet. Said I ain't so tired yet Well, I'm taking the gospel to the whole wide world And I ain't tired yet I'm gonna reap the mighty harvest And win many souls for Him Now I've witnessed mighty miracles from my God And I ain't tired yet
your blood just for me. Lord, I love you for taking my place on that tree. Lord, I love you. Without you, Lord, where would I be? Where would I be? Lord, I love you for going to Calvary. A trail of blood led the way up a hill to go to see what Jesus suffered in agony But the sun refused to shine while the Father had to turn from the sight Lord, I love you for going to Calvary Your blood just for me, Lord, I love you for taking my place on that tree. And to pray, Jesus cried, let this cup pass from me. But he quickly resigned, nevertheless, Lord, not my will, but thine. Drops of blood fell from him while he bore all our sickness and sin. Your blood just for me, Lord, I love you for taking my place on that tree.
He's the miracle working Christ for all time and eternity. So just reach up to Him. Use your faith and believe. You can be healed right now. Only believe. You can be healed right now by faith. You can receive. You can receive. Jesus will heal you, brother. Jesus will heal you, dear sister. You can be healed right now. Just be Find Him when you seek Him with your whole heart. He sees every tear and He hears each cry. He fills your very heartbeat. He always has and always will. He said, for I am the Lord, I change not the shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up it's all through divine blood the blood that Jesus brought he said I am the Lord that healeth thee all things are possible if you'll just believe you can be right now only believe you can be healed right now by faith you can receive Jesus will heal you brother Jesus will heal you dear sister you can be healed right now just believe you can be healed right now only believe you can be healed right now by faith you can receive Jesus will heal you brother Jesus will heal you dear sister you can be healed right now just believe Jesus will heal you brother Jesus right now just be There's a great message in that song by the Singing Men's Quartet. Now, taking you back to Ernest Angeles Grace Cathedral, watch as people receive prayer. God moves for their miracle and healing. Also, listen to some wonderful testimonies of how God blessed people in this ministry. I sanctify the Lord God. I declare, O oh God, the miracles and healings they're all yours. I'm just your witness. But I do my best to witness each thing that you do with perfect faith like you have, dear Lord and Master. What is it? For three days I had an ache right there. You failed, didn't you? You're a while back? Yeah. Yeah, and you knocked one of your kidneys out of place. Now it's going in place. Yay. It's in place now. Give God all the praise. I have two things. Um, one, I, my salivary glands have stopped working for the second time in a short period of time. I don't know why and it makes them very swollen and sore, and you can't even open your mouth sometimes, it's so dry. And I don't know what's causing that. And second of all, I have ringing in this left ear that just comes and goes all the time, and it's very aggravating. Lucifer, amen, amen. 
God will do everything that's needed. Everything. Amen. Give the Lord a praise. I, uh, I've got a couple testimonies. Um, a week or so ago, you went and pointed, or uh, said there's about nine miracles for your stomach. And uh, I took that, and I haven't had any problem with my stomach since then. And also, last night, or no, night before last, I fell on my back. And I asked God to not to get up the next morning without any problems, and I didn't have anything, and I landed hard. <laughs> so that's fine. Well, it's good to use your own faith. Exactly. And I was wondering if you could pray for my ears, too. Yeah, thou foul spirit, come out. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's there. It's there. You got it all right. Yeah. Hello, Reverend. I think I injured my back lifting some weights, and then when I turn, twist and turn, um, it cut off my breath, and I think I may have um, sprained a muscle or pulled a muscle, not sprained it, but pulled a muscle lifting weights. Yeah. You got a, a condition that's bad in one lung. You have a hole, it's good size, but the Lord, we've touched him. He's touched him. He's touched him. It was so big. No wonder you're having trouble. Yay, yay. Friend, the power of God works service after service in this Jesus ministry. But the Bible declares Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And what he did in the Gospels, he is doing today. And friend, don't forget about our big July 4th camp meeting weekend starting next weekend. Five special services Friday through Sunday. Everybody's welcome. All seats are free and you will be greatly blessed. Come and enjoy wonderful preaching, good music and singing by all the artists from our Jesus ministry, some which will have new songs for you. Also, you can be blessed in the healing line as there's prayer for those who are in need. Come and receive from the Lord whatever that need is, spiritual, physical, or financial. If you're unsaved, you can receive salvation. If you've yet to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, come and receive. The Spirit is being poured out in all of our services. Now, it's prayer time on the program. Friend, are you ready to receive the miracle, the healing that you need in your life? Nothing is too big for our God. In fact, Jesus said, all things are possible, only believe. However, healing for the body, deliverance for the body, it starts in the soul. Friend, is there anything in your life that you know would hinder God from moving for you? Anything that would keep him from pouring out that miracle, that healing that you need? Well, this is an opportunity right now to pray to be free of all hindrances, all sin, all disobedience. Pray this prayer with me right now. Say, oh God, I confess all of my sin before you. I'm so sorry, Lord, for failing you, but no more, for I have come home, and I will serve you the rest of my life. And I believe there is power in the divine blood of Jesus, power that washes away all of my sin. Say, come into my heart, Jesus. Come into my heart, dear Jesus. And friend, if you meant that prayer, Jesus is yours. You are free of those hindrances. Now, let's look to the Lord for the miracle, the healing that you need. Put your hand against mine as a point of contact. Jesus said a believer would lay hands on the sick and they would recover. I'm the Lord's believer. And when you put your hand against mine, this is a form of laying on of hands. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I bring those who are sick in body, those with a great need in their life. God, move. 
In the blood name of Jesus, heal, heal, heal. Let your deliverance flow to them, Lord, for your honor and glory. In the holy name of Jesus, I pray, and amen. Friend, watch every improvement. Give God the honor, the praise, and the glory. And if you enjoy watching this program, if you've received a blessing, a miracle, or a healing through this Jesus ministry, we would love to hear about it. Send us your testimony at testimonies at ernestangeley.org. Again, that's testimonies at ernestangeley.org. Friend, I hope today's program has been a great blessing to you, and I want to encourage you to keep tuning in. We enjoy your viewership. Always remember, nobody's ever loved you like Jesus loves you. Nobody has ever cared for you like He cares for you. Do you like receiving special gifts? I know, that's a silly question. Did you know Jesus offers an eternal and supernatural gift to each of His followers? That helps us face life every day, and that gift is the Holy Ghost. Maybe you think the Holy Ghost is a fairy tale, or He just doesn't fit into your fast-paced world. Or maybe you just don't care. But how can we deny the tongue of fire and the heavenly dove? Why don't you come to the worship center at our website and learn about this supernatural gift? You owe it to yourself. This program is paid for by the Ernest Angeli Outreach Partners.